Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be diving on into Gearheart War Factory. But first, uh, we had a little, um, I guess by the time this comes out, it, it'll be yesterday's balance patch. Um, not really a balance patch, it was just a little update, like mini update thing that um, Arlight said on the forums that it was uh, it was to put in the next Troop Mania or something like that. So, uh, the last Troop Mania we got was Warrior, so I think we can guess um, what will be coming this time. Since we already had Heavies and Zookas, I'm thinking it's either going to be like a Team Med, Scorcher Tank. I don't know if we've had a Scorcher Tank one yet, that would be pretty awesome. Um, so I'm thinking it's either going to be like Scorcher Tank or RZM. Uh, something like that I think would be, uh, I think would be pretty e expected. Uh, to see from the troop manias. Um, all right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at uh, Gearhard War Factory today, guys. Um, so I was gonna try something else, something different for War Factory today, but since we already have those Zookas loaded up, we might as well go ahead and use them. Um, there's a ton of lasers on this one today, so this is gonna be like we're gonna have to use GB attacks first. Uh, there's just way too much stuff here to 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 just go at this unboosted. Uh, I would need probably six shocks. Uh, by the looks of things. So let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five artilleries. We'll take out these. How, how did I miss? How did I miss those lasers? How, do, how does that make sense, guys? Okay, so chicken fail on the artillery placement, apparently. So that's basically going to cost us a GB attack for the most part, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, uh, yeah, so there's attack number one. So basically, my plan is um, if I can take out uh, that this grouping of lasers, we're just gonna take out little groups to save uh, to save shocks. Um, we might use four GB attacks here actually, and just see if we can. Um, if you guys didn't see, Marty did uh, he did a make or break challenge last week, and it was a lot easier of a war factory, so it's it's kind of different. But because um, basically he wasted his first four attacks, then the last one it was obviously like really high uh, high pressure, high risk, high reward, right? Because it's either make or break. Hence the name of the challenge, make or break. Um, Alright, so where do we want to go next here? Um, I'm thinking I'm going to leave these three lasers up because I'm going to need to shock the machine gun and flamethrower anyways, and that's going to be way too much GB to take all that stuff down. Um, and then on the right, I'll probably leave uh, some of that stuff up. So I'm thinking we'll take down um, we'll take down these rockets next. We'll take down the rockets next. I think I'll just take down those two rockets and then maybe a couple machine guns that are in front of the core, and then I think we'll be good to go from there. Um, We'll use up the artilleries and all right so that is attack number dose guys number dose and soon we will be actually diving on in so we got three attacks left so yeah i'm thinking i'm actually going to have to use um all four gb attacks um all right so we're what do we got to do here we got to take out this guy this guy um we'll use two artillery there i guess and all right, so now we're looking okay, guys. Now we're looking all right. Um, so now I got a safe shock on the right side there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually attack on this next one here, just because I like to. I, I want to leave a little bit of a uh, little bit of a gap for a chicken fail. We've got the crate right on the shore this time, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little easier, I guess, of a landing. Uh, I don't know where to throw this artillery, we'll just launch it down on the HQ, throw the critters out, I don't know what's going on, um, and we'll retreat. And then the first, uh, the first attack is about to come up, guys. Alright, so how do we want to do this, chicken? How do we want to do this? Um, hmm. So basically we want to get beside that shock blaster, and then one, two, four shocks, more or less, something like that. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, guys. We will see how it goes. Back, back, back. So smoke and smoke. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we'll... Easy, easy. Okay, so there goes the delay. We got that out of the way nice and early, which is good. Don't worry about that. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Uh-oh. That laser is just letting us know that it's there, guys. That's okay. It's just saying hello. Um, Alright. Okay, so we're gonna need... Uh, shock, 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 shock. Something like that. And can we finish this, guys? Can we finish this? We got a few show. All right, so we're looking good. We're looking good here. Boom! War factory goes down. Back, back, back. So fairly easy, I guess. Um, depending on how you use your GB attacks, I mean, 
to just rush at this without taking anything down first with only Zookas and unboosted, it was just going to be like way too many shocks, I think. Like maybe if you shock the lasers and threw some critters down uh, on the far side to distract the rock launchers and stuff, maybe you could do it like that if you have a ton of troop damage. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But um, since that didn't take too long, we might as well try a player base here. And this looks like a good one to practice the uh, the reverse Zooka that the chicken was talking about yesterday. We'll do a quick tap through here for any mines. And uh, yeah, we'll see exactly how this can go. Alright, so we got Largo, 854 VP. This guy's got a pretty good amount of resources. Not that we need them, it's just they're there. Alright, can we tap on the corner please, chicken? Now obviously I don't have all my Zookas here, so we're at a bit of a disadvantage. But we have the reverse Zooka tactic, guys, so... It's kind of, a, kind of an overpowered strategy, like maybe it should be banned uh, from the game. Okay, alright. Um, so yeah, we got all troop mania coming up again soon. So I'm maybe they're maybe they're gonna time the all troop mania to come out with the hero update. That would be interesting. Um, because everyone's gonna be super active around then, right? Because everyone's gonna be farming up all their resources and stuff. Okay, so next we want to go up right through here. Get them nice and packed in tight like that. That's what we want. And I'm finding when you see the Zookas... Uh oh. Uh oh, he's got hidden mines, guys. He's got hidden mines. Okay, okay, okay. We're maneuvering. Maneuvering. Uh, I forget what I was going to say before. Probably doesn't matter. No hidden mines, please. Back, back, back. Alright, so 57 GBE left. Um, easy, easy, easy. Don't scare the hot pot. Okay, so shock, shock, shock. Uh, health kits, health kits, health kits, health kits. No, no, we got roasted by some. What? What did all the damage there? Was it that machine gun? I say we try this again, guys. I say we try this again. I think we can do that uh, just fine. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I just kind of looked up and all the Zookas were dead, so uh, I'm assuming something happened. I'm not sure exactly which. Um, so let's take this guy out of the picture first. Since we don't need to use GBE on um, on any of the mines, we can um, use a little bit extra on that, I guess. Um, all right. So what? Do, how do we want to do this, chicken? We're gonna we're gonna launch out here. Can we tap the corner, please, chicken? That's the hardest part, guys. Is actually hitting the uh, is actually hitting the flare onto the beach. Very very advanced tactic. Okay. All right. Okay. So we'll get the zookas up like this. Uh, I'll try not to lose any to that sniper tower like we did last time. That player might have been a touch early, but I don't think it matters. As long as you get them on the wall, then I mean, they're gonna they're gonna kind of space out exactly how you want them to anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference at the end of the day. Okay. Um, so next we want to flare up right about here. Get that smoke down nice and early. Alright, so we're going to hit that mine again, but I think that's okay because there wasn't any other ones uh, that we had to be worried about. Unless we hit another surprise chicken. I think we actually did, but it must have been a boom mine. Um, okay, okay, okay. Easy, girls. Easy, easy. Uh, double smoke down. Flare onto the HQ. Probably should have put the smokes a little closer forward. Uh, this is tight. This is tight. Okay. Alright, so one, two, three, health kits down, spam the health kits, guys, one. I don't see what's destroying us, but um, apparently Largo has some sort of invisible flamethrower or something that we're, that we're not seeing, guys. So, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments how you guys made out of War Factory today. Um, what do you guys think is going to be the next Troop Mania that's coming, um, that's coming soon? Uh, uh, I, I don't know when exactly. Within the next couple weeks, I guess. Maybe it's in time for the update. We'll get an all true mania or something like that. That would be cool to see. But uh, let me know all that down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like, fan, interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out.